Quinnipiac riding a two-game win streak coming into today's matchup against the Columbia Lions, and their hype is real as Judy Olean was spotted in attendance today looking for the hometown team to push their winning streak up to three games. We're going to pick up the action here in the third quarter when Valerie Perkins takes the beautiful pass from Bianca Strube to and puts it in the back of the net for her first goal of the season. Take another look here as Bianca really just threads the needle and that enables Perkins to just tap the ball into the back corner for the score and that would make it a 1-1 tie later in the third quarter. Columbia on the penalty corner gets the goal to fall over the head of Birma Rotman. That was really just an unlucky bounce for the Bobcats as you take a look. The ball is popped up and Bierman Rotman falls flat on her back. Nothing she can do there. And that would put Columbia up 2-1. to one. We go into the fourth quarter. Quinnipiac is looking to tie the game and they are on the attack here. And it looks like they have an opportunity here as Inez Ruiz Martinez makes a beautiful pass to Eva Veldhorst who shoots and puts it in the back of the net to tie the game. But this goal would be reviewed and you can see that she is outside the striking circle right there and the ball goes in the back of the net this play this call would be reversed and Quinnipiac would remain down by a goal they pull Beerman Rotman here as the end of the game is near and it's desperation time for the Bobcats it's less than a minute to go here they looking like they have an opportunity but Columbia is able to push the ball out of the striking circle and that would wrap it up here your final in Hamden today would be two to one Columbia Quinnipiac's two-game winning streak is snapped